Uh, you guys are actually in for a pretty special treat with me. You guys don't know this, but I'm about to tell you. Uh, I actually feel the unknown demand of Indian female comics from West Virginia. <laughs> yeah, go Mountaineers, born and raised there. I love that place. As you can imagine, there are not a lot of Indians in West Virginia. Uh, I was the only one in my high school. <laughs> there used to be two of us, but then my brother graduated. <laughs> And then for college, I decided to go to a small historically Baptist university in North Carolina that had like 10 Indians. And I remember walking on that campus and thinking, where did all these Indians come from? <laughs> and now I live here in DC. And I'm like, wow, is this what India's like? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I didn't actually know what I was growing up though. I remember one time a classmate uh, came up to me and he said, Tasha, are you mixed? I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, half of my genes are from my mom. <laughs> the other half are from my dad. <laughs> and no, they're not related. <laughs> but I remember I actually went home that night and I asked my dad, I was like, Dad, what am I? And I knew that he for this moment because he responded by handing me a book <laughs> called Daddy, Am I Hindu? <laughs> but of course, the book was in Hindi <laughs> and I never learned Hindi. Uh, so I just assumed I wasn't Hindu. <laughs> I told everyone that I was Asian. My brothers are Caucasian. <laughs> I think uh, one of my favorite...